Single Touch Payroll is a new ATO reporting requirement for Australian business when processing payroll. So let's jump straight in and give it a go. Payroll, pay runs, navigate to a locked week. An STP submission should be the last step in your payroll process, then click STP Lodge. This page takes care of all your STP submissions and feedback from the ATO. A final run will need to be selected when the last pay run for the year is processed, but this is a normal run. Click Review Data. Take your time reviewing the data, especially on your first process and when hiring new staff. Confirm you have reviewed, agreed to the terms, and you're done. Microcreeper will start the submission process. This can take a while, but is usually complete within a few minutes. If we scroll to the top of the page and hit refresh, we can see the status of the submission is submitting. This submission is actually going to fail, so let's go through from start to finish the complete setup process. We need to allow Microkeeper to submit on our behalf. To do this, go to Settings Global and copy your software ID. To proceed with this step, you will need your OzKey installed. If you don't have an OzKey installed, you can call the ATO, or alternatively, you might be able to get your accountant to do this step. Load the Access Manager website, which is am.gov.au. Log in. Click My Hosted SBR Software. Then click Notify the ATO of your hosted service. Search for Microkeeper, then enter your software ID. Click Next and click Save. We can close this window and now attempt the same STP submission again. I agree and confirm. Scrolling back up to the top, we refresh the page and now we can see the submission was successful. If you mouse over the little info dot, you can also see some other little stats like the timestamp, the message ID, reference ID. These are all values you can reference to Microkeeper if the, in the event that something failed and you need to learn more. We can confirm the submission was successful on the ATO end by going to bp.ato.gov.au, which is the business portal. Log in, then go to Manage Employees, STP Reporting, and here we can see all the past submissions. The last one will be at the top and the gross and tax should match what's in Microkeeper. We need to make sure all our payroll rules are set up correctly. If we go to settings, payroll rules, in particular shift rules, public holiday rules, deduction rules, and probably most importantly, our extra rules. So through each category, we now have a new STP class that we can set. For example, we have a laundry allowance here, so we can change that one and select laundry, save. The next time we process payroll, that will now be automatically applied and we won't have to worry about it going forwards. We have this option, employee profile tax. What that will do is refer to the employee's tax setting instead of, so rather than going individual non-business, if we select employee profile tax, whatever the employee has set in their profile will be set when processing this shift rule. If you had a very simple pay run, that's all you'd need to do, you'd be done. But let's go have a look at a more complicated example. Here we have Alice. This is going to be our last pay run. Um, so let's go through the termination process. Down the bottom of the pay slip, we have her balances, annual long service till that need to be paid out. Scroll back to the top of the payslip, then click the final button. Here we see all those values are pre-populated. We can edit them if required. And if we're paying out long service leave, we can click this button too. Once we hit the terminate button, the employee will be set as inactive in their employee profile. So this should now be part of the payroll process. Payslips will be marked as final, ready for submission to STP also. If we scroll back down to see her current leaf balance, now everything is set to zero. We have also included the word final in the description, so this is a way of identifying a difference between paying out annual leave throughout the year and paying it out for a final payment. With STP, we also have the ability to add lump sum payments, so let's add one of these as an example. 
and we also have the ability to add ETP payments and select our STP option from the drop down. Let's go ahead and add another payment for a car allowance for say $50 so we can get an example on how this will look when reported in STP. Scroll back up the top, lock the week, STP lodge, normal pay run, review data. I'll start by hiding these three fields and go through them one by one. The common fields everyone will have. If we hide that and show lump sum, lump sum fields, we can see that $200 we just added. ETP, we can see that $100 we just added. Allowances, we can see that car allowance we just added. We don't have any deductions yet and the tax file number of declarations if submitted by the employee will also be sent through. That about wraps it up for all our STP setup, configuration and submitting. If you have any questions, feel free to hit us up on our Contact Us page and hopefully we can provide some answers to any questions you might have. Cheers.